Hi, I'm Michaela from the Makers Collective and I'm going to show you today how I schedule out my week using Google Calendar and also a Google Spreadsheet. So first of all I start with the Google Spreadsheet where I just plug everything in and give it a colour code so I can know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing every single day and uh, colour code so I can see you know, if I have enough um, schedule time to do my business work and stuff like that and also enough time with my kids. So I plug it all into a Google spreadsheet. Um, not This step isn't a necessity, definitely not, because uh, you're kind of repeating this once you go into Google Calendar. You can do this step on paper first if you like. I just like the ease of having everything color-coded instead of having to color in squares by hand. So then I jump over to Google Calendar and as you can see I've started to plug everything in here. I have set up a calendar that is my weekly schedule calendar which is a separate calendar to everything else and then when I have all my calendars turned on I can see if there's any conflicts. So over here for example I'm, um, I'm having an interview so that will be during my biz time hopefully <laughs> which is this time here. So. I'll jump over and I just need to now put in my work and then biz work on here. So if you're unfamiliar with Google Calendar, all you need to do is click to create the, uh, it's, it's, it's an event I guess, but um, what we're doing is just scheduling in certain times. So this is work at UC, make sure I select the correct calendar, create. And then I'm just going to click on that and edit to um, turn on repeat. So I'm going to have this repeating weekly every Wednesday. I set it to never because when I'm finished or something changes, then I just change it from whatever week it, that is current. And I also change the color because, as I said before, I like everything color schemed. Um, it needs to show me as busy. So this is this links in with my calendly appointment setting and stuff like that so I can set times when I'm actually free um, for people to set appointments with me so at this this uh, event that I'm creating now I'm working externally at the university so I obviously can't take any appointments during that time so this will be set to busy so nobody can make an appointment at that time. I'll go save and so this now becomes grey. I'm actually, um, I didn't change the time in those settings, but I can just pop this down easily like this. It will come up with this notice saying, do you want to change only this event or all the following or all events? I'm just going to go all events. And now when I go to the following week, you'll see that those ones are there. Now I haven't set, as you can see, if I go back here, these ones I haven't set correctly to be repeating yet. So. Um, what I've done here, what have I done? Let's have a look. Edit event. So I would just um, make sure that it's always set to never because I started it back here and I set it to 10. That means it's done 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and then the following week there was nothing there. So if you set it to never then it will just continue going. And then when it comes to holidays I can go in and delete those um, delete those certain events. So if I needed to delete this one for example, if this was during holiday time I could go only this instance and then that would delete that one. So it's always um, you know in a state of flux you can always change it to suit you. Now I think this is a really great way to make sure that your week has some structure but it's also uh, a really good way to set reminders of what you're supposed to be doing. So I'm just going to switch this back up to here because I actually did it for too long. And now this next section is my business work time. So I just call it biz work. I'll go in and edit. Now, as I was saying, you can set reminders. So if, for example, during this 12 to 2.30 period, you want to split that up and have uh, half of it to be writing your newsletter and half of it to be creating products, what you could do is uh, make new events. So you could have maybe change this to one hour and 
and when you edit the event, actually set a notification here. So you can get a notification pop up on your screen 10 minutes before that starting saying it's now newsletter time. And then what you could do is put another one in here that is production. And go in and edit this one and have a notification 10 minutes before this one saying, okay, 10, in 10 minutes time, you need to start production time. So you can see when you roll over, hover these, you can see a little alarm clock there. And that shows that that's going to give you some sort of notification. You can set an email notification or just a pop-up on your screen. Um, and I find this is a really good way to just stay on track during the day and don't get too um, swamped by any one task that takes a lot longer than it should. So it really, it literally pops up on your screen and says, you have this coming up in 10 minutes, which in this case, when we're working out our daily schedule is you have production time coming up in 10 minutes. So you need to wrap up whatever else you're doing with your newsletter, stop it, shut it down, and then get into production. So I find this really, really helpful for staying on track during the week. I hope that you find it a little bit helpful too. And I would love to see in the Makers Co community group on Facebook, if you um, set up your schedule like this, or if you use any other method, I would love to hear about it as well. So feel free to pop over there. If you haven't joined already, join up. It's completely free and open to everybody. And we're all there just trying to help each other out um, in this business adventure that is fun. <laughs> so um, yeah, hopefully I'll see you around soon and good luck with everything. Thanks. <laughs>